Hi, it's Tracy. G'day, and that's Elsie, and welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are going to show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes, and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. Uh, we're going through one of the shopping centres here and I've, we've actually come across an ASIC store in the middle of Beijing. How good is this? Everywhere you go, it's great to support the people that support you. ASICs, Nihang Bang. Hey guys, guess where I am? I'm in China and I'm in Beijing at the moment and I'm at an amazing restaurant called Da Dong. It's a duck restaurant. Now here the specialty is eating the, like a Beijing duck and the skin is so crispy and so juicy. And what you do is you get the skin and you wrap it up in these gorgeous little wraps with a bit of onion and a bit of sauce. It's amazing. Do yourself a favor. If you come to Beijing, make a trip to Da Dong because it's gonna be the best duck that you'll ever eat. Oh wow, look at this, it comes duck. This is our chef that is here to help. Well, here I am trying on hats, and I think I'm about to join the Red Army. Good old China. Got them. You've got to love this place. Good morning, everybody. Well, this morning is a very, very interesting breakfast. I've got Thomas here. Hello. And uh, he's come back with a wonderful plate, a variety of eggs. So this is really interesting. Look at this. Can you explain what you're eating there, please, Thomas? Well, Chinese people usually eat quite a few eggs in the morning. So as you can see, this is nothing unusual. This is a fried eggs. And this is called tea eggs. It's cooked in the tea leaves. And this is called sautier, usually using the dark egg actually. Right. And this is called, we call it century eggs. Hey, can I ask you a question? Why salty egg? What's the process? The process, I think you're using the, um, the traditional, we actually make this one at home. And, right. And uh, using the, uh, the mud uh, mixed up with the salt and then put it in a big jar for, I think it's over a month. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. huge. And then it forms into the shape like this. That's really cool, isn't it? So it, it sort is. of ferments. It sort of ferments. It's yes, really, it is. really cool. And yep. the flavours, are they very, very different? Very salty. Okay. Yep. The, the Usually we eat it with the breakfast. The tea egg salty or the century egg are salty? What no, one? the salty eggs. Ah, uh, okay. But isn't the tea egg salty too? That's why it's called salty egg. That's so cool. <laughs> Who would have thought, I guess, you know, white's white, grey's grey. That's right. Well, enjoy. What's the other thing you've got there? This one? Yeah. This is we call it the Chinese donut. And what do you do with that? Yu tiao. Yu tiao? So what is that? What do you do with that? You dip it in the soup you've got? Uh, that's right. You always dip it in the soup or you can eat it separately if you want to. Cool. Just like this, in a porridge. Porridge. Ah, nice. Uh, this one is really good. Uh, we usually eat it for breakfast and I think it's ingredients using the flour okay. and put in the oil and deep fry it for a minute. Yep, it yep. It comes up just like this. It looks good. It looks yes. good. Well, Very enjoy nice. your breakfast and thank you for chatting. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, well, back to my breakfast interviewing time. I'm here with John, John Cooter. Hello, guys. <laughs> well, um, we've interviewed Thomas on his unusual. Eggs, what about those eggs. different style of eggs? Ah, unreal, right? Mm. Salty eggs, fried and donuts, eggs. and congee or soupy stuff. I think it looked amazing. I can't imagine what's inside his belly. John, yes. because we're in China, we've been here seven weeks, but um, you, you kind of like to stick to stable foods, yeah? I do. I, I just like to stick to the... The safe, the safe stuff that I know. Yep. Uh, but still, I'm getting out of my comfort zone a little bit today. If you have a look here, I've got bacon. So that's pig, right? Right, it is pig. Oh, that's that's pretty tough thing and, to be eating. But, I you think. know what? What? What do you have with bacon? It's coming in behind you. See, we have here is a special delivery. My eggs. Oh. Over easy, the way that all eggs should be, but make sure they're a little bit runny. But I just want to say. Now, there are a number of ways that you can have bacon. 
you can have it almost raw, undercooked, but I like my bacon crispy. You hear that crisp? Yeah. Hey, okay, so we're in a huge shopping centre here in Beijing. Check out this place. It is awesome. There's a lot of things here to see and do. There's a lot of shops, loads and loads and loads of shops, and we're only down on the bottom level. We actually have another, I think it's like another four levels of um, shops to see. Very unique, but the main thing that we're down on this level for is this place here. Hagen das. This is like a restaurant. You actually get your ice creams inside like a bento box. And they've got lots of really, really unique little um, chocolate uh, treats, ice creams in chocolate bowls, etc., and um, red velvet cupcakes. And I mean, look, the list just goes on. My heart's racing waiting to go in there and have some. At the Pearl Market here in Beijing, and you can find absolutely anything. They've got, even got these special little skateboards for midgets. And I'm sure that they would be fantastic. Oh, and look what we find as we're driving. Ikea. Honestly, who would have expected? In Beijing, there's an Ikea on the way to the museum where we're heading to. Ah, oh, how cool is that? I could do with some new cushions at home. Hey everyone, Elsie here. JC here. Hey, we're back in Australia. We had a blast being around China for seven weeks and it's good to be home. Hey babe, how do you feel about being home? Can you believe these shops? There's only one thing I've got to say. <laughs> and that's how John feels about being home. Yes. Well, we hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you there. Cheers.